Well, this morning we have an event that will lift your spirits. And Tim, it will be sure to give him pumpkin to talk about. Oh, my Lord. New this morning, Aaron Fields is live outside Horror on Harbin to tell us if this event is as scary as all the puns that he keeps leaving us to read in the morning. Wait. Uh, um, Although I don't see Aaron I, anywhere. Yeah, is, is he? Hey, everybody, is he? Aaron, or, oh, oh. He's emerging from a coffin. Oh. That, that is scary, too. Okay. Whoa. Aaron, what's going on? What can you tell us? Are you okay? I appreciate how you don't like those puns. <laughs> <laughs> Have you come so to haunt me okay. now? Are you the pun, the ghost of puns or something? What's yes, going on here? <laughs> How's it going there, I'm, Aaron? I'm always going to haunt you, Tim. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, so this is this actually marks a year since I was uh, here the last time, and I hope y'all don't remember that because I didn't do too well. My camera started moving everywhere, but this year it's going to be a lot better. But I'm here with Tom Braun, and he's actually the creative horror on Harmon. And hold on, let's let me make sure you get in the shot. Sorry about that. Okay, this is Tom, and he's the creator of Horror and Harmon, and so good morning, Tom. Good morning. So just for people that don't know about Horror and Harmon, can you tell us a little bit of background on how it all got started and everything? Yeah, it started back in 2001. It was kind of a whim. I just kind of decided I was going to dress myself up and play some scary music and uh, hand out trick-or-treats to the kids, and I made a little cardboard sign and spray-painted it Horror and Harmon, so it was just me in that first year and about 25 kids. Fast forward to 2015 when I brought it, I had a cast of about 80 volunteers and over a thousand people came in that year. And that was the final year at my place where I said, we just can't do this anymore. And then we, an accidental meeting with the president of the United Tribes brought us out here and we continued to whore out in Harmon. And now this being our fourth year out here. And then, so, also, all the money that you get goes back to scholarships for people at UTTC. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, um, so, you know, Horn Harmon has always given us uh, back to the community in some uh, form or fashion, whether it was at my house included. And we came out here, and, uh, and we found a site. It was just a natural uh, thing to, to give back to the college, and uh, doing the scholarship was just perfect. And then, so this year, can you give us a little, like, pr preview of, like, what's to expect without <laughs> ruining anything? Well, we'll continue with all our signature characters. We'll continue with having a lot of volunteers. I have 95-plus volunteers at this point. So no matter where you walk, once you enter the gate, um, we'll surround you. I'm excited about it. I'm going to be out here tonight, actually. And then, so, what are you most excited for, though, for this year? Um, you know, just, again, seeing all the smiling and screaming uh, uh, people who, who enjoy this type of thing. Um, it, it's, a, it's a real big adrenaline rush. Well, thank you so much, Tom. And Annabelle's going to be here, too, as well, right? Annabelle will be here. Uh, she's I don't know if you can see her back here. Sorry. She's in her room right now. I'm not really sure where she's going to be tonight, but she'll be here. I'm excited about that. We had some really good chemistry yesterday. We took some pictures with Annabelle, and she's that was a, fun. She's a sweetheart. She is a sweetheart. <laughs> but I'm going to send it back over to Tim and Alicia. And coming up, I have talked to Sheridan McNeil, who is with UTTC. And she tells me how Horde and Harmon has been affecting the whole college so far. So y'all stay tuned for that. Okay, yeah, very good. It's a, a scary event for a good cause. Yes, that's right. Sounds fun. Thank All you, guys. All right, thank you.